All right, well, I just want to do a quick update on the Dango T01 Tactical Wallet. I've had this guy for about six months, carried it around every day since then, and uh, so far, really impressive it still. Um, it's held up pretty well, haven't had really any issues. Um, as you can see, the finish here, the finish is slightly, slightly marred up. Let's get my pointer out, my Boker Quaken, copper and carbon fiber. Right there, you can see there's a little bit, a little bit of scratching going on on the edge. There's some scratches. Uh, that's just kind of the nature of the aluminum. It's going to do that on you. Uh, but as far as durability-wise holds up, I've had this, this little bag of cash on a silicone band ever since I got it. And as you can see, the leather is still pretty, pretty good. No really issues on there. Um, there's really not a discernible difference between what was covered up by the bag and not. So the edges are a little bit, a little worn in there, but nothing too major. Um, no stitching, no stitching issues on it. I haven't noticed the screws tearing through. So I was kind of concerned that the screws might start tearing, but I haven't ran into that at all. The only possible issue that I see is it can kind of mar up your cards a little bit. So you can see the Amazon logo there is a little bit tore up. Um, there was some black smudges here, but I rubbed it off before I had to re-record this video. But as you can see around the chip there, it's a couple black smudges. They can just be kind of, they can be wiped off because it's just the aluminum rubbing off on the card itself. Uh, the strip is fine, I'm not going to flip it over because uh, you don't need to know my information. So the blackness comes from it rubbing up against this raw aluminum when you push the cards in and out. So I'd recommend, if you are if you do buy this wallet and you are carrying it, to use your most used card is going to get slightly marred up. Because I recommend putting your most used card easily accessible to get to, which is obviously the top position, but it's going to rub against this, uh, this aluminum side. So it's just something to keep in mind if that's an issue, if you want to keep your cards looking completely pristine and brand new. Um, this probably isn't going to be the wallet for you, but if you want a really, really good minimalist wallet, uh, it's definitely something to check out. And I'll leave the link to Amazon down in the description, so if you want to take a look at it. But uh, yeah, so I just want to give a quick six-month update. Um, once a year comes around, I might do another one, but I don't foresee anything major happening to it. It's a really sturdy wallet. I mean, you're talking just an aluminum body, aluminum backing, and um, a letter front. So the only issue I could see would maybe be the silicone band wearing out and busting, but I haven't I haven't really noticed any wear and tear on that at all where that would be me concerned right now. But yeah, so if you like this video, like it, leave a comment, like, subscribe, favorite, go on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, everything else. All my social media is somewhere down below or in my channel. Take care and have a fun day.